Looking for a docking station with a lot of ports, including the latest Thunderbolt 5 ports? Check out the Anchor Prime docking station. We'll compare it to Caldigit's latest TS5 docking station as well. Hi, this is David of Techbobaba. Welcome to my channel. Please consider subscribing if you like useful tech for the family like me. In today's video, let's unbox and check out the features of the Anchor Prime Thunderbolt 5 14-in-1 docking station. We'll also compare it to Caldigit's latest TS5 docking station at the end. If you have the latest M4 Pro Max MacBooks or a high-end Windows laptop, one of these could be your ultimate docking station. Anchor's Prime docking station comes in a premium box. Inside, there's the docking station, a small manual, a Thunderbolt 5 cable, and just a power supply cable. The power supply is built in, so no bulky power adapter brick. Very nice. The docking station is well built in this cool aluminum cube that looks like a Mac Mini or a Mini Mac Studio. It's compact at about 5.2 inches by 5.2 inches and 3.4 inches tall. Ports are spread out smartly. Front for quick access, side for the cards, back for the cables you connect and forget. In the front, for easy access, there's a round power button, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, two 10 gigabits per second USB-C ports that can supply up to 45 watts of total power and one 10 gigabit per second USB-A port. On the side, there are the card slots for TF and SD cards. On the back, two more 10 gigabit per second USB-A ports, one 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet port, a HDMI 2.1, and a display port. One can be used at a time. A Thunderbolt 5 upstream port for connecting to the laptop with up to 140 watts of charging power and two Thunderbolt 5 downstream ports for peripherals at 120 gigabit per second maximum transfer speed. This dock can support multiple display modes with these Thunderbolt 5 ports and HDMI display ports. I'll put a link to its website with all the different configurations for your reference in the description below. What's unique with this dock is the power supply is built in, so it's a clean setup. Just need a typical power cord, no big bulky external power supply with multiple cords needed. There is also a built-in fan with air intakes on the bottom and vents on the side for active cooling. It stays very cool and can sustain full Thunderbolt 5 speeds without throttling. There are four rubber feet to keep it stable on the desk. And check this out. When I plug it in, there is a cool ambient blue LED light around the top. It pulses for connection status or in high-speed mode. It can also be turned off if this is not your vibe. I have it connected here to two monitors, Ethernet, a Thunderbolt external SSD, a mouse, and a keyboard. The best thing about having a dock is I can easily disconnect from all my peripherals just by unplugging this one cable. When I return to my desk with my laptop, just plug this one cable back in and I'm connected to them all again and my laptop gets charged up at the same time. Very convenient. Anchor Prime Thunderbolt 5 docking station retails for $399 US dollars. There are often discounts in the link I'll put in the description below. It's built well with high-speed Thunderbolt 5 and many useful ports for monitors and peripherals with an internal fan to keep it cool. I like the clean setup without an external power brick. The ambient light around the top is a nice touch as well. Now, the big question is how does it stack up against Caldigit's new TS5 docking station, which also retails for $399 US dollars, but doesn't seem to go on sale too often. The TS5 is also built well in this silver color. It's in a different rectangular shape, longer and flatter. 
about 5.6 inches by 4.5 inches and just 1.7 inches thick. It can sit flat on the desk or stand vertically. Ports are either in the front or on the back, not on the sides. Car readers are in the front, similar to the Anchor Prime. There's an audio jack and two 10 gigabit per second USB-C ports. One can supply up to 20 watts of power. The other is 7.5 watts. On the back, there are additional audio input and output ports, a second USB-C port and two USB-A ports. One just supports USB-2 a 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet port, three Thunderbolt 5 downstream ports, and one Thunderbolt 5 upstream port. No HDMI nor display ports like the Anchor Prime, but it has the one extra Thunderbolt 5 downstream port. No internal fan for cooling, but stays cool with all these fins for passive cooling. While the TS5 docking station seems smaller, without a built-in power supply, it needs this big external power brick to work. If you're looking for a do-it-all docking station with the latest high-speed Thunderbolt 5 ports, you cannot go wrong with either one of these. Do you prefer the cleaner design of Anchor Prime with the built-in power supply, active cooling, and dedicated video HDMI or display ports? Or the flatter design of CalDigis TS5 with an external power brick, passive cooling, and an extra downstream Thunderbolt port? Or have you found a better Thunderbolt 5 docking station? Share with us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find any part of this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you want to see more videos on how technology can enhance our life with kids and family, subscribe and check out this video next. I'll see you in that next one. Until then, Remember to cherish each moment.